Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some super cute Korean inspired summer dunk nails using all affordable stuff, mostly from Timu and the gel polish is from Amazon. So I hope you enjoy and keep on watching guys. Okay, so these are the nails I'm using. They're just some random long stilettos from Timu, which I love. They came in a small pack, and I'm just going to chemically etch them really quick with the primer because, I don't know, I've just been enjoying doing this, like, every other time because it just saves so much time. I hate buffing so much, um, and as you can see on the plate, that's the first hand that I did. I did make a post on my community tab to see if you guys are interested in watching this, and I got quite a few likes, so I wanted to film myself making the other hand, and I think they turned out so cute. These are perfect for summer. Um, um, and like I said, this is just um, acid-free primer. This one's by Moravan. Um, it's available on Amazon. You can use whatever you like, or you can just buff them if that's easier for you. And I'm taking this Rosalind Mini Gel Polish. I do have a video up on swatching all of these. It came in a 100-piece kit, and I just decided to go with the brightest red that I could find, and I am in love with this red it honestly it looks so beautiful on the stiletto so classy and classic um even if you weren't to add the charms and stuff i just am in love with this red and it's so awesome because i only had to do one coat so that was nice for a change um you know it gets repetitive painting and painting and painting so i only needed one coat the coverage on these is amazing and I did buy these polishes myself and I highly recommend the brand and I can't wait to try more from them in the future when I make some more purchases. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing very well. Um, again, like I said in my previous video or the one before that I think where I tried um, Korean inspired syrup gel nails. I really, really love the Korean nail trends, like all of them. I've been doing like searches on Google and stuff, and I'm gonna just continue kind of doing this as a little like themed video thing. I don't know what you wanna call it. A chunk of videos where I do all different types of Korean themed nails because I just think they're so cute. So this is just my take on some junk nails, but summer and um i just feel like the stiletto shape is perfect for the korean nail trend as well and i wanted to do something a little bit longer this time and these nails are really really good quality um it's in like one of those small plastic boxes i should have showed it in the video but um i had already placed them on the stand i'm pretty sure it only came with like 120 nails but they're not like pre-buffed on the inside or anything but they are really nice sturdy nails which is very good so i'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds in my lamp i do that off camera um and right here i'm just gonna show you me picking out the charms that i wanted to use so i was excited to try these little rabbits with strawberries i thought they were perfect so i'm taking two of those and two strawberries which also went absolutely perfect. I've been dying to use some of these cutesy charms and spring and summertime is going to be the perfect um, time for me to get a lot of use out of these colorful charms. So let me know if you see any charms that you want me to use in the future and I definitely will. And I'm just taking some of these flowers as well, which are super cute. And I'm not going to use those bows because they're just in there left over from a previous set of nails that I did. And I just thought this was something fun to include showing you um, just how I pick out my charms and try to make things cohesive. I also am going to be using some green flat back rhinestones, which I'll show you later in the video as well. So there we go with that. And there they are cured. I'm just going to use this top coat. Um, it's not actually by Lily Cute. I filled it with the o Oxy, O-X-X-I. It's on Sheen. It's like a big bottle, and I just filled up this bottle because I liked the brush in this little bottle right here. So I'm just going to do a nice top coat and cure that as well for 60 seconds before I get started on the charms. I personally like to top coat before I charm just to add like extra sturdiness to the nail and just so I know that I have um, the base color top coated um, just by chance if I should miss a spot when I top coat over the charms at the end so that's why I do it like this I just prefer to do it like this and it is a no white top coat definitely recommend using no white top coats um, 
which just saves you a step. I hate the sticky layer, it's just so annoying and it's just easier to not have to deal with it. So I'm just going to finish these two up and cure that for 60 seconds like I said and we can get on to the fun part which is decorating these nails. So this is the glue that I always use, it's like a dupe for the McCart one and I just have a rhinestone picker and a wax pencil and I am going to get started. Um, pretty much it's self explanatory, I'm going off of the other hand but um, I'm just going to do a couple of little tweaks so they're not exactly the same like changing up the flowers and changing up the rhinestone nail as well. So it's just really easy. I'm just going to make some dots. Make sure you put enough glue to secure your bigger charms um, around all the edges. Uh, and when you top coat, also make sure you're doing a nice, nice enough top coat because you don't want any gaps. That's how your charms fall off and you don't want that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.